Also getting attention at the Capitol today, the issue of paid family leave. Connecticut doesn't have it, and many families believe it's time for a change. But as News aide Stephanie Simone explains, doing so could affect everyone's paycheck. A Valentine and Cupcake campaign. They're hoping to nab some sweet attention to paid family leave. We got the news in December, um, and it was quite the shocker. <laughs> That's when Elizabeth Lane found out her son Hendrix was becoming a big brother this July. I'm hoping to still take 12 weeks off. It will be unpaid. Uh, we'll have to figure it out. It will be a challenge. State Representative Matt Lesser says they're trying to make it less challenging. Uh, many families across the state, uh, they have to choose between caring for their child uh, or uh, being able to afford their mortgage payment or their rent. He says as the bill stands now, and it could change, every worker statewide would have a mandatory 0.5% of their pay go to a state fund. Then if someone takes family medical leave, they could get up to $1,000 a week for 12 weeks. What about the fact that maybe some people don't trust the state with any money right now given the current budget environment? Well, look, I, I think this is a program that will really help people. I think when people start to see that they get the benefit, that they'll see that the, the, you know, we'll be able to prove the value of the program. Supporters flocked to the legislative office building today handing out cupcakes and valentines, telling lawmakers not to break their hearts as New York, New Jersey and Rhode Island have passed similar laws. There's a lot of reasons to move out of Connecticut, and having Paid Family Leave Act will act in the opposite manner. So will this sugary tactic work? Well, they're having a public hearing tomorrow, and the earliest they could probably vote on this would be in May. In Hartford, Stephanie Simone, News 8.